Have you ever wondered about how a health condition impacts quality of life? Well, I thought about that exact question after my brain surgery in 2012. So, what I did was, I approached my online brain tumor support group with a study that I had set up, focused on questions such as diagnosis, treatment, symptoms, and post-operative recovery. The results were enlightening. So, I approached my neurosurgeon, Dr. Alfredo Quinones, and his team at Johns Hopkins University, and they decided to embark with us on a new study with two new scientific measurement tools. A big thank you goes out to both of these groups, without whom this new study would not have been possible. The impact of surgical resection on headache disability and quality of life in patients with colloid cyst was recently published in Cephalalagia, which is the International Headache Society's peer-reviewed journal. This study will help increase access to information for patients with colloid cyst and the healthcare professionals treating them. Information until now has really focused on surgical technique and outcomes, and information on patient-centered data or quality of life has been lacking. So this study, which is the first and largest focused on quality of life and headache disability in patients with colloid cyst, is a great addition to the scientific information out there. One of the key implications or takeouts from the study was that the surgical resection or removal of a colloid cyst can result in significant improvements in patient headache disability and quality of life. Now this is actually a very important finding because most patients are placed on what is called a watch and wait list, which means they have yearly MRIs to monitor the colloid cyst. Um, and surgical removal is not often an option. Now remember this is very important that it's often patient dependent and medical treatment dependent, but this study opens up the doors for further conversation on this type of treatment. If you want to read the abstract or the summary, you can go to twosteps.ca to the Brain Tumor resource page to find it. This study is a great addition to the brain tumor community and a key example of how partnering with your medical team and being your body's own advocate can be of use not only to yourself, but to other people around you. Patient-centered research is all about helping improve lives and the quality of care. I am very excited to see where the study leads, what topics of conversation it opens up. So onwards and forwards we go.